Take a look around you. Maybe you're sitting on a chair, standing next to a wall, or holding a water bottle. Have you ever thought about how these things are built? Structures come in all shapes and sizes, but they can usually be grouped into three main types. Solid structures, frame structures, and shell structures. Each has its own design, strengths, and purposes. Let's break them down. First up, solid structures. These are the simplest kind of structures, solid all the way through or with very little empty space. Think of things like a stone wall, a dam, or even a hockey puck. Solid structures rely on their mass to hold their shape and provide strength. They're super strong and durable, but they can be heavy and use a lot of material. For example, a concrete bridge support can carry a lot of weight, but it's massive because it needs to resist forces like compression or squeezing and tension or pulling. Next, we have frame structures. These are made up of a skeleton or framework that holds everything together. Picture the metal frame of a skyscraper, the wooden beams of a house, or even the Eiffel Tower. Frame structures are strong but lightweight because they leave lots of empty space inside. Instead of relying on solid mass, they use well-placed supports, like beams, columns, or trusses, to distribute forces evenly. That's why they're so popular for buildings and bridges. A fun example? A jungle gym at a playground. It's a classic frame structure designed to be sturdy while using minimal material. Finally, there are shell structures. These are hollow and thin, but their strength comes from their shape. Think of a water bottle, an egg, or the dome of a sports stadium. Shell structures are designed to spread forces across their surface evenly, making them surprisingly strong for how little material they use. For instance, a coconut shell protects the fruit inside by distributing impact forces, while the curved design of an airplane's fuselage lets it handle air pressure at high altitudes. Some structures combine features of all three types. A car, for example, has a solid engine block, a frame chassis for support, and a shell exterior for aerodynamics. Engineers often mix these types to get the best balance of strength, weight, and efficiency for the job at hand. Understanding the difference between solid, frame, and shell structures helps us appreciate how everyday objects are built and why they work so well. From the stone walls of ancient castles to the steel skeletons of modern skyscrapers, these structures show us the power of smart design. So next time you pick up a bottle, walk across a bridge, or even crack an egg, think about the structure and what makes it work.